continues to be affected by extreme weather events of increasing frequency and severity, causing a greater stress to water supplies. Under such conditions, access to reliable water data will become a critical factor in the understanding and planning for sustainable water management. In this edition of Straight Talk, I would like to talk about the importance of monitoring and sharing of data to improve the way in which water resources are planned and managed. If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. This simple yet essentially true statement applies to water as it does for most other goods and services. One of the biggest challenges to water management is the lack of attention to systems that regularly collect and monitor data on water. Data forms the basis of our understanding of water resources and without it, it is nearly impossible to devise a plan for how water should be allocated efficiently to different uses and sectors. Better water data supports decision making at every scale. At the local level, access to better water data means that we can help improve the reliability of irrigation flows for farmers, while at the river basin level, it supports larger planning efforts such as balancing the demand for water from the agricultural, municipal and industrial sectors or allocating water for environmental flows. It also improves the equity and transparency of decisions involving water resources and can support the establishment and monitoring of rules for water quality. Similarly, access to data at the farm scale can help farmers make better decisions about what to crop, when and how much fertiliser to add. Apart from traditional gauging and monitoring of hydrological information, there are two important methods that are increasingly used to observe changes in water resources over time and across space. These are geographical information systems and the application of remote sensing data. These tools help to observe spatial distribution and provide the bigger picture perspective that is often needed to find gaps or observe changes in the characteristics of water bodies, such as rivers, lakes or wetlands. They have also proven to be particularly useful to understand changes over time and to help predict the onset of drought, particularly in regions where water data is scarce or poor. Water measurement and monitoring systems should underpin water management and planning at the national, regional and local level. In order to make the best decisions on allocating distribution and conserving water, we need to establish water monitoring networks, make water data freely available, and model future scenarios and plan on the basis of evidence. Options to improve the monitoring and collection of water data are improving every day. While water gauging and monitoring can be time-consuming and expensive exercises, technological developments are making things cheaper and easier. Once installed, many gauging stations can be monitored remotely by satellite or mobile phone. Similarly, database and geographic information technologies have made the storage, retrieval and spatial display of information straightforward and most information can be portrayed at the press of a button or mouse key. Exciting new advances in remote sensing technologies have recently opened up the possibility of monitoring major changes in groundwater levels using gravity data. Virtually all decision making from farm to basin scale can be improved by having open and free access to water data. Having access to appropriate data is the best way in which to discuss transboundary water sharing, provide a basis for water allocations and also to provide a moving picture of the impact of climate change on water resources and the environment as a whole. Sharing accurate data can improve the responses of policy and other mechanisms to deal with climate change. Therefore, it is important to overcome the institutional barriers to data sharing. The collection and monitoring of high quality data and information should be the goal of all water planning and management institutions. Modelling future water scenarios is only possible if we have access to good water data. These data can provide essential information about responses to rainfall events, flood hazards, seasonal flow variations, 
groundwater level changes, and the impact of major extractions on flow. Water data is a prerequisite for understanding how water economies function and the various ways in which water is used, managed and shared. Some argue that measurement and monitoring are expensive, but I believe that the better decisions made through having access to data will more than recoup any such additional costs. This is Colin Chartres at the International Water Management Institute.